Commodore 128 and Propeller project. Um, today we're going to play a little skater die using the propeller as the interface or the joystick. Um, but first we've got to get it loaded up and I am loading the skater die tape file onto the Commodore 128 from this propeller board, my professional development board. Um, and it's coming up right now, loading in the fashion that tape did, which is slow. The uh, tape interface cable is actually connected with just a couple resistors directly to the propeller. Um, the little red light that you see here is the, uh, the tape motor sensor. It's showing that there's data being loaded right now. Here's the screen. This is the screen from the propeller that's just telling me what's going on. And uh, we'll skip ahead just a little bit and be back with you in a few minutes as soon as we get the main program loaded. While the program's loading, I want to show you the second propeller. The second propeller will be working as the uh, joystick controller. Um, this is a U-Controller Spin Studio board, which allows me to plug in modules very quickly into the propeller. This is a nice way to develop hardware. Um, the module that you see right in front of you is actually our joystick module, where the propeller is controlling the up, the down, the right, and left, and fire of the joystick, and that black cable is going over to the joystick port 2 on the Commodore 128. The uh, other two cards that you see plugged in, the first one is the audio uh, video card so I can see what's happening on the propeller. The second one is tied to our skateboard. And um, this is a skateboard that's uh, that on the rear of the skateboard we have the um, a little um, uh, accelerometer and that blue cable is coming back up here to the second propeller. The accelerometer is detecting um, whether the board is is being leaned forward, backward, or side to side so that we can control the game. Now this board is, is on a piece of foam that can handle quite a bit of weight and can flex back and forth allowing this board, allowing someone to stand on this and flex it back and forth and we'll see that in operation in just a few minutes. Well, finally we've gotten into the game with the tape loader. We'll be back in a few minutes because now we've got to load the section of the game again from the tape and we're going to do it in real time. Back in a moment. Okay, we're finally loaded up and ready to play, and this is Shelly. Say hi to the world, Shelly. Hi. Shelly's going to demonstrate our skateboard project here. Um, she, Her center of gravity is a little smaller than mine, and she can control this a whole lot better than I can. And we've switched over to the second propeller, the Spin Studio board, which is now running the... Uh, accelerometer data up here on the screen. We can see when she leans forward just a little bit or leans side to side. That's reflected up on this screen from the propeller and then that data is sent from the card we have here in front over to the joystick port 2 of the Commodore 128. Um, we will be using a joystick that's hooked to a Y connector in the game but we're only going to use the fire button and that's uh, when we fall which unfortunately happens frequently. We can get back up with the fire button on the joystick and keep playing the game. Shelly, show us how it's done. <laughs> 